Hello everybody, I'm here today with a comparing video, this time between a GameCube controller and a Wii U controller. Now, the GameCube controller I've had since my childhood when I owned the GameCube, and uh, the Wii U controller I got a f two, or two or three years ago when I got the Wii U, so we'll compare them. So, these two are kind of the same basis, um, it's kind of the same setup in terms of like buttons and knobs, like the controller knob, but uh, this one is flat, this one is more like chubby looking since it's a game controller, and then this one is gray, that one's black, because I own a black Wii U, I don't, know, I don't own a white one, and then, um, <clears throat> so yeah, the, the controller knobs are similar, except this one has one, this one has two, kind of like the uh, Wii U uh, gamepad does. And then the buttons are kind of the same as that, except, except these ones are more sticking out than those ones. They're kind of both sticking out equally, except this one's a mix of colors, like the A is green, the uh, B is red, and then the Y and X are gray. These are all black. And then, and then unlike that controller, um, with this controller it has two knobs too, but unlike this one which has two normal knobs, this one has a regular knob and a C knob. So it's kind of completely different, and they're far apart each other. It has a pause button in the middle, kind of like that one, except the difference is this one is start and select. This one is a uh, home button, and then the power button's right there. And then these will light up when it's on. This one just has a start and pause button. And then this one has a cord on it, because you have to connect it when using it. This one, this one you only have to hook up when you have to charge it, since it's wireless. Same with the uh, Wii U uh, gamepad. They're both wireless. Same with the Nintendo Switch ones. And then the backs, of course, like I said earlier, more chubby looking and sticking out. This one's mostly flat but curved. This one has a sync button right where I'm pointing to. And then with this one, unlike that controller that has the, uh, let me see, what's it called? L and R and the uh, C button, which is purple. This one has the... Uh, Top buttons, which you push right here, and these ones. That one says Z and L, got Z and R, L and R right here. And then this is where you charge the uh, game controller. Since it's wireless, of course. And then this cord is actually pretty long. As you can see, it stretches to all the way about there. It's a pretty, it's a pretty decent sized cord, even though it's short. And uh, with this one... Um, with this one, you cannot hook it up directly to the Wii U, so you have to use a a Wii U adapter, which I have in the closet to hook this up, because the Wii U does not have a GameCube control outlet. Only the GameCube does, and the, uh, the Wii does. The Wii U and the Nintendo Switch do not, so you got to get adapters for this one. And then this one's just completely wireless. And then I actually also own a a Smash Bros. GameCube controller, but which is the same basis as this one, but um, it's but it's black instead of gray, and it's kind of designed differently. So uh, yeah, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.